just like a little hint, one of the best pamphlets I ever read. Okay? I'm trying to get you this stuff, but I don't want to promote his training. <laughs> so, because everybody be going to that, and it's like I use a lot of that because I've learned from a lot of that. But there are some neat things you can learn from that. Uh, the software companies I don't care about because they're just out there. But uh, there's a lot of private investigating type stuff that will help you track these houses. Uh, reverse, uh, what's it called? Reverse phone. Reverse, reverse lookup. Look some of that can help you. There's something else though that I had done years ago that helped me get one. Usually talking to the neighbors will get you some information, but sometimes it doesn't, or it's wrong information. Uh, that's when I started putting signs on the actual vacant properties. I figured one of two things was going to happen. All the neighbors would think I bought it and start asking how much, and then I could build the back side, well, how much would you get? You know? But more than likely, I was waiting for some owner to call and go, kid, you know, what's this sign doing on my property? And that did work. And sometimes it worked really in a way where you heard words you didn't think you'd ever hear <laughs> be called. But it worked. It got me into the conversation, and that's what it's going to require. So when we're out there, here's a question. When, and you didn't do it last week because you guys are new, but how many have printed up any signs yet? Got some signs? Did you use cardboard or plastic corrugated? Plastic corrugated. They last longer. Now, here's the thing. And you could check with Tim over at Trinity Printing to see if he does it. They make this sign that's kind of out of cardboard, but it's kind of laminated. That might last if you made it smaller. That might last a little longer. I mean, I'm not here to sell you signs or anything, trust me. <laughs> but I'm trying to get this philosophy. And Brandon said it when he said it. I've, I've done so much training for so many years that I even forgot, like, that line that Brandon used was the line I'd used. He learned it from me, and that was... McDonald's doesn't knock on your door and go, do you want a hamburger? They wait till you come to them. That's how I get my deals. Either an investor like Jim calls through my network and says, I got a deal. Lane calls, I got a deal. That is how my deals come. Or through my marketing campaign, they come. Now, uh, on these sheets again, and we knew, you know, it's going to take time because we gave you one angle. reason for doing that to you is to start to let you understand this. This is not get rich quick. This is a business that you have to work every day very hard. You have to become so creative. You have to be different than everyone else, and yet you have to stand out. And that's why I'm doing this. Is, folks, the encouragement I give you is back in the 80s, just the same scenario, but coming out of that crash when I started nine months before I did my first deal. But I was making offers. I was calling for sell by owners. I just found out they weren't that motivated. There was inventory through the MLS, and it was a lot of bank foreclosed property, but the banks changed their rules after the 80s. They got too many rules now. And it's got to come back to that point sheet. It has to hit the right number for us to get the deal. So as you went out last week, what I want to talk about now on our map is one, any question about what you did last week so far? Let's get that out of the way. Any questions about last week in your tracking or any problems you ran into other than making contact? Because I knew that was going to be a problem. That's why the next one's three weeks from now. Three weeks, you should have contact somewhere. But I also want you to get developing your marketing and start looking in that book of the other ways to find deals. So, how else can we find deals that try to keep it cheaper for you? Well, we can do the internet stuff. But again, someone emailed me from here, and I don't even remember who it was, asking about the door hangers. Who did, was anybody here? Even, I can't remember. I want to say it was Eddie. Eddie's not here. Uh, there was two Eddies, though, but I don't see either one. So, anyway, door hangers. Has anybody looked into a company to actually hand those out? Because I think, yes, you look. I have an admin door hanger right now. Oh. I just signed up. Okay. Uh, for a three month service. You were telling me about that. Right. Do you mind telling everybody what you did? Yeah, the name of the company is uh, Cowtown Door Hangers. Cowtown Door Hangers. And it's actually pretty exclusive because if, if you're, depending on what trade you are, like if you're a painter or a plumber, 
if you buy that area, and each area has 7,500 homes, and you have to give like a three month contract, um, if you buy that area, they won't allow no other plumber or painter to advertise. Kind of like yeah. what we do at Rio, we have one have inspector, one yeah. title. So, okay. So, um, 7,500? 7,500 homes per area. Now, what does that include? Okay, let me ask you this. Hang on, guys. Calm down. We're going to get there. And them doctors just went, oh, you woo, man. Another way. Hold on. So, it's 7,500. Does it include the door hangers? Yeah, it's a. Uh, handed out to 7,500 homes. Yeah. Is it double sided hanger or single sided? It's double sided, but your ad is not double sided. Okay, so you're on there with other people. Yeah. Okay, so that's the difference there. It's a multiple ad. Yeah. And how much does that cost for that three month contract to do? It's um, 250 a month. For $750, you're going to be three months straight yeah. in that neighborhood. And you know yeah, why? You have to do it both. Like if you do like four to five areas, I think it cuts it down to like 150 a month. Okay. How so often? Three months. Once Sign a, a three month, month contract once a month. Once a month. Once yeah, a month. it's always going to be the once a month. Yeah. Okay. But here's the difference. That was saved money because you're on there with other people. So if you're the only we buy houses guy, I take it, is that what you did yours for? Yeah. So you're the only we buy houses for that area. Yeah. That's not bad. Who cares about the plumbers and all the other stuff? Fact, that may just build your network. Yeah, right. Now that's cheap because when I was looking at what the church did, it was 10,000, but they still haven't given me the number of the address. I'm still waiting on that. So <laughs> church moves slow, huh? <laughs> but it was 10,000 double-sided, just you color. And they told me it was 2500 bucks. But look, for 750 that was a one-time only, too. I kind of like that repetitiveness. Mm -hmm. So yeah. right there, very, thank you. I think, I think Walker Locks should move for three months also. I think he's a marketing guy who understands that sometimes it takes up to three. To make it happen? You know, just, you know, like, you have to see the ads at least three yeah. times. Exactly. Time and we teach that. Money. It takes three times before somebody even looks at it. And I always tell you that on postcard marketing. Well, I, I mean... The, the July ones went out about, so I have three areas, and uh, they, they just went out. My, July was my very first month, and I, I don't think I had a phone call from, from it this first month. So I'm still testing it out to see. Okay. But it also depends the areas you hit. Yeah, I guess. I mean, so do you I'm mind not, telling us what areas you hit? Because uh, nobody else can hit it now anyway. Yeah, not with them. It, <laughs> as long as I pay for it, nobody else can get yeah. it. <laughs> so what, do you it's mind? A, no, my, um, it's three areas in Arlington, so... They're all in Arlington? Yeah. And it's from... It starts from 360 between uh, Park Row down to 20, all the way to, I think it was Collin, that's one area. Okay. Then it just keeps going west. Like, that's a rougher area, some of that, too. Yeah, I got three areas. I got a middle, a low income, I have a working class, and I have a middle. Okay. So, that's what I've done. Okay. So you've got the max goes 83 and 84 and, and they haven't mapped that area. If you go to the website, he has all the different areas. How about that? They're using that dang internet to do it all. <laughs> all right, so that's another thing Town you can look at. Cowtown. Cowtown. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But it'll be on the internet because we're gonna put it up. It's out of Cowtown. <laughs> See, I'm all about the network. Now. Who does company for signs? Well, that's why I said try Trinity Printing and ask them. Because I've never had Tim make my signs before. Because the last guy that made them, I have a garage full of them. <laughs> so, I mean, we made hundreds and hundreds.